On this episode of Northern News, we'll show off a recent presentation from our life class, hear from a Northern graduate, visit with our National Art Honor Society, and check in with one of our favorite teachers. All that and more on this episode of Northern News. I'm Emily Plotkin and welcome back. This past December, members of Northern's Music Honor Society performed in several community events. Our reporter Sean Donahar has the scoop. I'm TJ Sandor and I play the trombone. So at the craft fair we had the uh, choir perform along with some different members of Trium. Uh, we just performed some holiday classics uh, so the shoppers at the craft fair could listen while they shopped and just provide an overall warm holiday ambiance to the event. But then after that, in Crosswicks that night, um, Trion Music Honor Society performed at the Tree Lighting in Crosswicks. Uh, we played some holiday classics um, as people got ready to see Santa Claus. Uh, the audience seemed to really like the holiday songs. It really put them in the holiday season cheer, uh, and it got them excited for the tree to be lit up. Um, you know, everybody was really happy, and it was just overall a really fun event. This past holiday season, Northern's FFA held a pet drive to help local animals in need. Let's hear from the FFA president, Heather Infanti, with more. My name is Heather Infanti, and I'm, this year I'm Northern Burlington's FFA chapter president. The pet drive is something that we did this year, Presents for Pets. It's something I always did every year. You collect donations for the shelter. The shelter has dogs and cats. They're uh, available for adoption. So we just collected stuff that they need, food, toys, puppy pads. Um, we collected uh, canned cat food, canned dog food, dry food, toys, um, I'm trying to think of everything, stuffed toys, um, collars, puppy pads, all kinds of stuff. And everything that they would need throughout the year. Upcoming um, in February is National FFA Week and we've already started planning. And when we come back from winter break, we plan to really get started and start planning in January and all, all that get stuff um, approved and with COVID and everything we have to find a, another way to get through it and still have fun in the meantime. Northern's Life Class continues to provide leadership and positive insight to help underclassmen on a variety of teenage topics. We spoke to member Gianna Aledo about their recent activities here at the high school. My name is Nina Monzabano here with Gianna Aletto. What has life been up to? Recently, life did a skit to the freshmen again about the consequences of teen pregnancy, and we also did life interviews for the juniors that are joining life next year. What did the interviews consist of and how did they go? So during the interviews, we asked them some questions about topics we usually talk about in life and their opinions on it. And we also asked them to make skits about those topics. And they all went really well. And I'm looking forward to seeing what juniors make it in next year. What did the freshmen gain from the skits? So during the skits, we talked about forms of birth control. And I hope that all the freshmen learned about different birth controls that they weren't aware of before. And I mean, us life members learned a lot. So I'm guessing that they did too. Thank you, Gianna Aletto. Northern Burlington staff members are one of its most valuable assets. Every day they bring dedication, expertise, and caring to their classrooms and ask for nothing in return. In an effort to pay tribute and thank them for what they do, we want to dig deeper into who they are and what drives them on this episode of Teacher Spotlight. Please tell us your name and uh, what you teach. My name is James Dowd. I teach video production here at Northern. I'm also the video club advisor along with Mr. Pona. 
and we've been doing this program for 14 years here at Northern. Man, that's a long time. Makes me feel kind of old. Question number two, do you coach or advise any other clubs besides what you just mentioned? No, in addition to teaching though, as I stated, we, Mr. Pona and I are the advisors of the video club, which meets weekly, as well as the producers of about two dozen live events over the course of the school year. Very nice. Um, question number three, what are some of your hobbies, you know, at a school? I enjoy cooking, I enjoy producing music, I also produce short films on the side, so lots of creative things. Excellent. And then uh, question number four, which is a callback to our previous episodes. Uh, do you have a favorite movie or a food or a book? My favorite food is probably pizza. One of my favorite books is Rebel Without a Crew by Robert Rodriguez. And I have a lot of favorite movies. I, I really like comedies, but I like dramas. I like to watch as many new movies as I can and you know, provide inspiration to you guys. And then the final question, uh, tell us uh, one thing students may not know about you. I happen to be a very big fan of uh, rap and hip-hop. Thank you, Mr. Dowd. In middle school news, under the direction of Miss Hughes and Miss Delphine, Northern Burlington Middle School's band and chorus recently had their annual winter concerts. We spoke to some students about their performances, and here's what they had to say. My name is Bailey Berto and my chorus class prepared for the chorus concert by singing the songs over and over again and doing some vocal exercises. And the songs that we sang were Malakaliki Maka, White Christmas, and Walking Around the Christmas Tree. The audience reacted like they enjoyed the concert. Thank you for your time. My name is Allison Hulick and I play the flute in the middle school concert band. Some of the songs we performed in the middle school concert band were Christmas Fanfare, Jester Dance, and Penguin Promenade. The crowd was very pleased with our performance. They clapped between each song, and at the end, we got a huge standing ovation. A special thanks to everyone who participated. You can watch both of these concerts on Northern TV's YouTube channel. For Northern TV, I'm Logan Stewart. In high school news, members of Northern's National Art Honor Society recently participated in an ornament decoration service activity. Northern TV's Nina Montalbano spoke with one of their members. My name is Nina Montalbano, here with Ariana Repack. What is NAHS? NAHS is National Art Honor Society and it's a group of selected art students and we meet together once a month to do charity artwork. Describe your recent ornament activity. This past week we made holiday ornaments for family and friends for the art students to take home. What other activities does NAHS do? The first week of school, we made greeting cards for the elementary school kids, and then for Veterans Day, we made greeting cards to send to base, and then we made posters for the veterans and posted them around school. Northern has hundreds of graduates who each year go to a variety of post-high school endeavors. This month, we spoke to a grad about his college experience, as well as reflect on his time here at Northern. Yo, what's up? My name is Jeffrey Alcalde, and I graduated from 2019. At Northern, I did a lot of club activities. I love video production, a yearbook club, and I did other clubs like photography club, which is like a graphic design club, and stage crew. I really loved each activity, and honestly, um, I made a lot of friends doing my club activities. I really recommend a lot of people to, if it's your senior year or, you know, still your freshman year, try a lot of clubs because honestly, it really benefit me. I learned a lot from each club. It was honestly really helpful throughout the years of, of being in Northern. One of my favorite clubs was probably yearbook. Getting to work with uh, cool people, making a yearbook that, you know, my classmates are going to see and I get to help you know, say what goes in and take pictures. Uh, it was honestly really fun and I really loved the environment. It was a great opportunity for me to just expand my photography skills and also just my socializing skills because talking to people is just really awesome. One of the things I'm pursuing right now is I'm going into RCBC and trying to uh, get my major in film. Honestly, uh, college is really difficult. Um, it's difficult and easy. It's kind of hard to explain at the moment why I'm making this any longer, but I really recommend students to actually go into RCBC Community College than a university because not only do you save money, it gives you time to figure out what you want to major in. A lot of people's biggest mistakes is when they go into college 
they're either doing it for friends or they're not focusing on their major and they're like okay let me just do this major with my friends and in reality a couple of years later they're like oh let me change it not only do you waste time and money like you're not you're not going in college for something you're really interested in about really interested about um, and you're just you know like I said wasting time and money so uh, I really recommend students to know exactly what they want to go into and major in and uh, from there on out figure everything out so that's one of my tips um, is knowing what you're gonna go into in college it's, well, it's really important and uh, I really recommend figuring that out now Take any advantages at school right now that's helping you out trying to figure out colleges you want to go to, universities, like do that right now. Um, but I recommend community, if you're not sure, if you're really not sure, then do that. But if you're sure but want to save money, do that too, or you you know exactly what you do. I like, I love, I love the environment of high school, your friends and all that. And you're gonna, you like, some people do not care. Some people are gonna miss it. But that's why, uh, just go in life, like stress-free. Because if you worry about everything, you're not going to get anything done. And trust me when I tell you, uh, it's going to be easier if you have a step-by-step -step plan and you're organized and you're focused on whatever you're trying to pursue. Uh, it'll be 10 times easier if you're not stressing. Uh, because if you're stressing, then honestly you can't get anything done and you're just a mess trying to figure things out. Um, and that's why I use uh, resources in high school. What else? Yeah, that's it. Just don't stress about anything. You'll be alright in the future. It was nice talking to everybody and honestly, good luck with every, anything you're trying to pursue or trying to do in the future. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Northern News. And be sure to check out the rest of our programming on YouTube and follow us on Twitter to keep track of what we're up to. For Northern TV, I'm Emily Plotkin. Uh -huh.